good morning doctors welcome again today we are going to discuss about fibromyalgia so guys if you want to understand this topic firstly you have to memorize why and what is fibromyalgia and think from yourself why you want to know about this topic not a aim of only learning but just to memorize what is this you see lot of patient in your opd so guys let's start chronic non inflammatory pain processing disorder so this is chronic non inflammatory pain processing disorder in my opd when i talk with old patients they always complaining of pain so this is a chronic but non inflammatory pain processing disorder the cause and mechanism of fibromyalgia are not very well known i can say not unknown but it's not understandable the cause is still now it's a syndrome it's a symptom syndrome of pain a patient having pain trigger points of pain stiffness fatigue disturbed sleep often mood or anxiety disorder memory disturbances other somatic disorders like uh, irritable bowel syndrome overactive bladder so let's i'm going to explain you what is it when a patient came in my opd they complaining of pain stiffness but there is some specific points where they feel pain in fibromyalgia and uh, almost always sometimes they complained of anxiety or sleep disturbances not able to sleep at night and some of them have irritable bowel syndrome symptoms we are going to discuss this topic irritable bowel syndrome in git section and patient has overactive bladder how do we understand overactive bladder means when the coughing sneezing the urine is leak bladder is hypertonic or overactive means okay and increase incidence of autoimmune disorder this fibromyalgia is increases with the incidence of increase of autoimmune disorder risk factors include psychiatric or physical trauma for example a car accident and after that this fibromyalgia disorder develops okay the woman is to man ratio is 9 is to 1 like as sle systemic lupus also 9 is to 1 and this disorder is mainly seen in 20s to 50s year of age 20 to 50 year of age okay now how to diagnose the patient is suffering from fibromyalgia go clinically clinically means pain stiffness weakness lethargy mood disturbance sleep disorder or patient uh, having irritable bowel syndrome like symptoms or patient is suffering from uh, overactive bladder means leakage urgency such and uh, but there is no marker of fibromyalgia but we have to rule out differential diagnosis like rheumatoid sle myositis and uh, polymyalgia rheumatica you have to differentiate with the that disorders osteoarthritis such disorders and some psychiatric disorder you have to rule out and you have to find out this is differential diagnosis but here is no marker no antibodies for fibromyalgia you have to diagnose this disorder on the behalf of your clinical practice or a pain points acr criteria we follow here acr criteria history of chronic widespread pain a patient is suffering from pain not from last two days last one month or last two month more than three months it comes under the criteria of fibromyalgia patient must exhibit pains at 11 or more of the 18 trigger points let's i will show you the trigger points oh sorry this time i never put the diagram of trigger points on neck to back side to on such trigger points and you have to pressure that points now what are the symptoms of fibromyalgia it systemic include pain weight gain and cold symptom in eyes vision problem joint of zoot dysfunction skin various complaint chest region is pain and stomach nausea and joints is morning stiffness central system like chronic headedness sleep disorder dizziness cognitive impairment memory impairment anxiety and depression muscular is myofascial pain fatigue twitches urinary problems urinating reproductive system and dysmenorrhea okay so pain points you can watch on google the image of fibromyalgia you can find the pain points and you find the pain points and you can 
uh, understand by clinically more than 11 points have suffering from pain treat treatment by pain medication we can use but pain medication is not a right answer if you write an exam any kind of exam if they give you an option like amitriptyline we can use here tricyclic antidepressant earlier but nowadays recently we use gabapentin or pregabalin such drugs amitriptyline is 10 mg and gabapentin or pregabalin is 150 or 75 mg strength so we can use these drugs for long term therapy if you find NSIDs and opioids, this is a wrong answer. Never choose in your exam. And also, we you have to remember psychiatric therapy, also cognitive behavior therapy you can follow. And the first line treatment for fibromyalgia, TCAs is tricyclic antidepressant like amitriptyline, cyclobenzaprine, and alpha-2 against its pregabalines and gabapentin snri are venlafaxine duloxetin duloxyl capsule we are going to use in overactive bladder 30 mg twice a day and milna cipran so guys i hope this fibromyalgia disorder is very much clear for you if you have any queries any question regarding this you can ask me and if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe it and if you want to learn or memorize this topic by heart, so please do not learn anything. You have to memorize and think about this disorder and uh, try to ask your patient and uh, try to differential diagnose. And when you are going to learn, then you ask from yourself why you want to study this topic. If you understand why you want, you take some interest in these topics and this will very easy, very, very easy. So guys, hope this is very much clear for you. Thank you. Good day and goodbye. That's all for today.